your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Square Theaters, South Jersey's premier movie watching experience. Visit our three locations and enjoy the big screen in comfort and style. Tilton Square, Harbor Square, and Ventnor Square. A better way to watch a movie. And good early Saturday morning. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on that forecast. Thanks for joining me this morning. Humid conditions, muggy conditions, and some fog and some drizzle uh, open up our weekend out there. Unfortunately, as we head across the region itself and temperatures, wow, already in the 70s, 73 in Mays Landing, 73 in Hamilton, 73 also in Tuckerton, 75 in Asbury Park, that I-195 corridor westward towards the state capital, 74 and 69 right now in Norristown. So obviously the humidity is out there. We still have the warm air, and unfortunately it looks like that's going to go throughout the rest of this weekend before possibly, possibly seeing some changes as we head into that extended forecast. We'll talk about that in just a few moments. Take a look at the big picture for today. We are humid once again. We are hot. Temperatures will be back up into the upper 80s to 90 degrees inland. A little bit of break, of course, with that sea breeze as you head towards the shoreline. But could see some scattered showers and some storms as we head into the afternoon and the evening hours. That isolated pop-up variety, not looking anything kind of severe out there. That's some good news. Just some garden variety showers and storms to bring us some much needed rain across the area. Exclusive Norcast, uh, uh, region by region, hyperlocal forecast, temperatures similar to yesterday. We'll see the mid to upper 80s to near 90 degrees, feeling near 100 with that humidity with a chance of showers and storms by the time we hit the afternoon hours itself. Farther south and east, same story. We'll see temperatures back into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees with those clouds building throughout the afternoon, maybe a shower or a thunderstorm popping up as we head into the later afternoon on into the evening hours itself. Looking for some relief, we'll go farther south and east. That's the shoreline, look at that. Low to mid 80s looks like as we head towards the coastline, but unfortunately we see upper 80s to near 90 degrees as we head inland, again, feeling near 100 in places with that humidity that's out there. Go farther south and east again. More clouds and sunshine to start for today, and then we'll see those clouds thicken up with a chance of maybe a shower or a storm popping up in the afternoon and evening hours with some relief along the shoreline. As we take a look for today, we do have a heat advisory now through the rest of this afternoon on into the evening where we see temperatures again will feel like more like towards 100. And unfortunately, I think they're going to obviously extend this heat advisory because as we head into tomorrow, especially in there, we'll be a few degrees warmer on top of the fact the humidity in those dew points right now are in the 70s. So unfortunately, a warmer day and I'm feeling much worse as we head into tomorrow. As we head into tonight, we'll start to become mainly clear, muggy, patchy AM fog. Temperatures back into the low to mid 70s once again with that southerly flow, keeping us on that muggy and that humid side, bring us a chance of that patchy fog by daybreak. Tomorrow, a little bit more sunshine. So I know we've been having more clouds and sunshine yesterday. Same thing we're gonna have for today, but I think we'll see a little bit more sunshine tomorrow, which then will increase the temperature, I think. Uh, unfortunately, temperatures hovering right around 90 degrees, but I think quite a few places we'll see in the low 90s and tack on that humidity will make it feel like 105, I think, in places. So unfortunately, a much uh, worse day, unfortunately, in terms of seeing that heat index as we head through tomorrow. Scattered showers and storms are basically off and in, in up to the north here. We do have some drizzle and some fog that will continue to be the case for the rest of this morning. But again, more clouds and sunshine, sort of like yesterday. We just can't, we get, we'll get a few breaks in those clouds make the air mass just a tad unstable to bring us that chance of maybe seeing some pop-up showers and storms as we head into the afternoon and the evening hours. And that'll continue to be the case. They'll continue to push on off to the north and east and right around midnight. And then we'll keep the moisture around for uh, seeing some patchy fog and some drizzle for tomorrow morning. And again, I think we'll get a little bit more sunshine tomorrow than we had today. So unfortunately, we'll be continue to see that heat and that humidity at least we head through the rest of this weekend. In terms of severe weather, as we head into later on this afternoon, not looking at anything too crazy out there, just some general thunderstorms. You know, it could get some steady to heavier rain in a short amount of time, maybe some elevated winds, but not looking at any kind of tornadic activity, no kind of uh, major hail activity. So that's some good news. We can certainly use the rainfall as we head into this afternoon on into the evening it's hours itself. Going to the seven day forecast, Monday and Tuesday, we continue that heat and humidity out there. I think a cold front pushes in as we head into late on Tuesday on into early th uh, Wednesday, and then we start to see some changes out there. Check this out as we head into the exclusive Norcast plus three days. Thursday on, low to mid 80s, low humidity. It's gonna feel so wonderful if that actually does happen, right? Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you later.